Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church, Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And hooray, today is Sunday, and we gather together to glorify God, to worship him, and to be fed in word and sacrament. We are in the middle of our novena, our nine-day prayer for the gifts of the Holy Spirit, as we, like the disciples and the apostles, after Jesus' ascension, spent time in prayer preparing for the gift of the Holy Spirit. And so we are using the Novena written by the Holy Ghost Fathers in 1912. Sunday, the third day of the Novena. The gift of piety. The gift of piety begets in our hearts a filial affection for God as our most loving Father. It inspires us to love and respect for his sake persons and things consecrated to him, as well as those who are vested with his authority, his blessed mother and the saints, the church and its head, our parents and superiors, our country and its rulers. He who is filled with the gift of piety finds the practice of his religion not a burdensome duty, but a delightful service. Where there is love, there is no labor. Let us pray. Come, O blessed spirit of piety, possess my heart, enkindle therein such a love for God that I may find satisfaction only in his service and for his sake lovingly submit to all legitimate authority. Let us now pray our daily act of consecration to the Holy Ghost. On my knees before the great multitude of heavenly witnesses, I offer myself, soul and body to you, eternal Spirit of God. I adore the brightness of your purity, the unerring keenness of your justice, and the might of your love. You are the strength and light of my soul. In you I live and move and am. I desire never to grieve you by unfaithfulness, and I pray with all my heart to be kept from the smallest sin against you. Mercifully guard my every thought and grant that I may always watch for your light, listen to your voice, and follow your gracious inspirations. I cling to you and give myself to you and ask you by your compassion to watch over me and my weakness. Holding the pierced feet of Jesus, looking at his five wounds, trusting in his most precious blood, and adoring his open side and stricken heart, I implore you, adorable spirit, helper in my affirmity, so to keep me in your grace that I may never sin against you. Give me grace, O Holy Ghost, Spirit of the Father and the Son, to say to you always and everywhere, Speak, Lord, for your servant heareth. Amen. And now our prayer for the sevenfold gifts of the Holy Ghost. O Lord Jesus Christ, who before ascending into heaven didst promise to send the Holy Ghost to finish your work in the souls of your apostles and disciples, deign to grant the same Holy Spirit to me, that he may perfect in my soul the work of your grace and your love. Grant me the spirit of wisdom that I may despise the perishable things of this world and aspire only after the things that are eternal. The spirit of understanding to enlighten my mind in the light of your divine truth. The spirit of counsel that I may ever choose the surest way of pleasing God and gaining heaven. The spirit of fortitude that I may bear my cross with you and that I may overcome with courage all the obstacles that oppose my salvation. The spirit of knowledge that I may know God and know myself and grow perfect in the science of the saints. The spirit of piety, that I may find the service of God sweet and amiable. The spirit of fear, that I may be filled with a loving reverence towards God and may dread in any way to displease him. Mark me, dear Lord, with the sign of your true disciples and animate me in all things with your spirit. Amen. <laughs>